Welcome to this video on emailing. This is uh, the second video in a four-part series of uh, what do you do once you have all your data in one of our tracking apps. Uh, in this case, it's emailing. The previous, the first video was on backing up and restoring. The third video will be on exporting. And the last video will be on uh, syncing your data between two, uh, two devices. So let's talk about emailing. Uh, emailing allows you to uh, send your data, uh, your reports, uh, through email. Um, uh, let's, let's immediately hop in. If uh, I'm going to just hit the logs button here. Now this is your list of logs. So first, the first step is to actually uh, tap on the log you wish to create a report for. So in this case, we're going to just tap on this log. Not very interesting, just a single entry. Tap the Options button below here and select the very first option, which is email. Now, if you've ever emailed me or, um, or uh, 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 emailed me a question, I always refer to this screen as the Email Export screen. That is because the email export screen, the email and the export screens are the same, except one sends it to email and one sends it through another means uh, to, your, to your computer. Um, the email screen, uh, this is where you'd set all your different settings uh, to create your report. Um, if I scroll down a little bit, I'm, I'm running an iPad simulator, running expense tracker, so these are the different settings that we can do. Um, it might look slightly different to you uh, depending on what fields you've hidden or shown in the preferences screen. In this case, we're, we've got, we're using the merchant field and the client field. Um, so those you can filter by them. So that's why they're showing here. So once, um, once you come up to this screen, uh, you're, you're pre pretty much interested in creating a report. There's four different formats that we create uh, a report in. CSV, plain text, QIF, or PDF. Um, the two formats that are most widely used are CSV and PDF. Um, CSV is the standard input file for a spreadsheet, like Excel for instance. It creates a .csv file which you can then import into uh, Excel or another spreadsheet like I said. But prior to this, I'm going to cancel this, prior to this, before you create your CSV file, your email your CSV file, take a look at this. Tap the options button and then tap on the Set CSV Report Fields. These are all the fields that you can include in the report. Quite a few there. Now by default it only includes oh, a little more than you know, about seven fields. Um, you can include any other field and when you, once you tap on it, it's a toggle. It'll put a check mark next to it. If you tap on it again, it'll take the check mark away. But once we have these items in our list here, one nice thing which uh, not, some people don't realize is that this multi-bar icon beside each field, if you tap and hold, you can drag it. Now that'll change the order in which these fields will appear in your CSV report. So that's just a heads up about that. So let's go back to the email screen. Here we go. Now, I'm not going to talk about um, the different formats too much. Uh, CSV, like I said, plain text is just a something to try. It's a very it just has all your data in it. Um, it's uh, it, it, it's it's just that plain text. QIF is a standard input file for um, old versions of QuickBooks. Um, there's uh, and then there's PDF, which is uh, it creates in a very attractive finished report click on that, based on a template you choose. And we have several new videos on creating PDF reports, customizing PDF reports, going into all detail of the different templates. I'm not going to do that here, but PDF reports are definitely the most sophisticated reports you can create um, for, uh, for, for our apps. So um, take a look at that and watch those other videos. But I'm just going to click on CSV. And just scroll down, scroll down here a little bit. 
and take a look at the photo receipts option. Uh, I have this selected as PDF for my photo receipts. I'm going to actually first start with JPEG. So I'm going to click on JPEG. JPEG um, indicates that we're going to have for every image we have taken for this, in this log that we're going to create a report for, uh, it's going to be attached to the email. So we're going to have the report attached, but we're also going to have an image file, a JPEG file for every image we've taken for this log. Uh, there's three different choices in size. This, these, size rep, these options represent the, the physical size of the, uh, of the exported image in, um, in, in kilobytes. So it's not the size of the actual photo length width, but it's actually the size of how much space, how much memory this image will take. I recommend small simply because you're taking pictures of photo receipts, not a picture of the Grand Canyon, so you really don't need the fidelity, the sharpness. But in actuality, even if you go down to small, you really can't tell any difference. So um, by reducing the, the size, you're reducing how much space it's going to take up, and therefore just uh, saving some room on your hard disk. Um, we also have the PDF option, which will allow you to include all your images in a single file. That's a single .pdf file. And on each page of that PDF file, you can include one image, four images, which is two by two, or nine images. Now, when you choose two by two, it does shrink the length and width of the image so it, to, to fit the page. Uh, but for most receipts, um, very, very readable, not a problem. So I'd say experiment with these different sizes and, and you, can, um, you can decide which one works best for you. Similarly, you got the small, medium, and full. Full is the exact size that the, uh, of the image when it was taken by your camera. Medium is a, is a um, compressed size, uh, and small is even further compressed. So, like I said before, once, once you select the email, the reports will get created, and they're going to be included in the email as attachments. So let's click the email button in the upper right-hand corner here. Oh, let's try that again. Here we go. Um, and this is the attachment. This is the actual report. So when you receive that on the re in your email, you can drag that out on your email and open it up in Excel or some other spreadsheet. If we had any images, image files, they would also be included as attachments. Now, this brings us to an important point about emailing and the limitations of email. Uh, emails, email services typically have a limitation of 20 megabytes. So if the combination of the size of the report plus all the images are greater than 20 megabytes, the email service will not um, send that email. Email services behave differently, so you just want to keep an eye on that. But if you're having a problem where you're sending an email to yourself and it's not arriving, likely the size is a problem because you have so many photos and the combination of the photos and uh, have made the email greater than 20 megabytes. If that's the case, um, you'd want to take a look at the next video, which is the export video on how to send files directly to your computer without any size limitation. I think that is all for email. I'm just going to cancel this. And if you do have any questions, um, please visit our website. Um, we have a lot of different videos on the different uh, different processes in our in our tracking apps um, go to the support page or you can email us directly our email is info at silverwaresoftware.com thank you very much